Uh, we must, and I, and I, and this is the, the point I want to make today, is I, I want this, this to be a year, 2016, a year of making disciples. Okay? And, and right now, we've got to disciple ourselves. We're never going to disciple someone else if we don't learn to disciple ourselves. From the very moment we wake up mm -hmm. to like, um, there's a chorus we sing, uh, you know, from the time we wake up till the time we lay our head to rest, I am blessed. When I wake up every morning until I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. Uh, from the very moment that we wake up in the morning, the, the, the process of discipleship starts. Uh, from the very thought that we have is where you know, our, we're laying there in bed thinking, you know, I've got to get up and thinking about today. Uh, and, and you know how it is, uh, as soon as you wake up, the whole, your whole day just comes flooding in uh, to you. Uh, everything you've got to get, I mean, you've already seen the whole, your whole day. And, and if you said, you know, they say that your life flashes before you in a few seconds. Your whole day flashes before you. Uh, you're already starting to get stressed and nervous about the day. Uh, right there is where we have to start our process of discipleship. Mm -hmm. How are we starting our day? Is that the is that the way to start your day? Is let those thoughts flood in, flood in about the day, or is it better uh, to to come to take a little bit of time, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes every morning, and get our mind on God? Mm -hmm. First off, my destination is God. I know my thoughts I have towards the they're of good and not evil. What is it? All that I may know thee. That's your purpose today. Your purpose today is to know God just a little bit better. Many of us, including me, we miss that opportunity a lot of days. This day God's given you, He doesn't want you to just pay bills today. God just doesn't want you to, to work for the, the man today. There's a, point, there's a point and a purpose for every day that you're alive. There's a purpose for every single day. What is the purpose of, of Monday? Well, Monday is the day I work all day. That's my purpose. And I just want to get through the day. That's not a disciple of Christ that's saying, I just want to get through today. The whole point is, Lord, by the dead time this day is over, I want to know just a little bit more about you. Amen. I want to experience just a little bit more about you today. This isn't a waste of day. If I'm just going to the job, working 12 hours, coming home, having my dinner, and going to bed, that's a waste of a day, Lord. Right. I want to know you just a little bit better by the time I put my head uh, to rest tonight, Lord. Every day that I live, I am blessed. What blessing is there for me today? What am I going to learn? What am I going to experience? What am I going to witness about you today? And so many times we start our day wrong and we miss we miss what God intended for us to have that day. And we don't go to sleep feeling like, well, what was today for? <laughs> what, what was the purpose of today? <laughs> and whether you're working or whether you're Mothering, whether you're, you know, schooling, whether you're whatever, God wants to reveal Himself to you. He has a plan for that day, and I think as a as a disciple of God, it has to begin as soon as your eyes open. In. Don't allow the, the day to come marching in to where you're already dreading getting out of the bed. Uh, you know, start with bringing every thought into captivity, uh, to the knowledge of God. And the first thing, the reason you woke up today is so that you can know God better. And so we, as, as disciples of God, we must start our day uh, off right. We must bring every thought into captivity. We must, uh, we must pray. We must read our Bible. Look at our goals that we have. Hopefully everybody's looking at your goals every day. Um, we talked about having a priority list. Have you made a priority list? Do you know what's important in your life? Do 
you know where it's important falls in your life. Uh, because if you don't have a priority list, then when something comes along and you're wondering, should I do it, shouldn't I do it, your priority list will tell you if you should do it. Or when you should do it, if you do it at all. And so, a child of God should have goals, it should have a priority list, uh, you should have a, a, a regimen of how you start your day. Um, you know, it could be something as simple as um, getting a light uh, so that the first thing in the morning you're getting energy. You know, they call the, these, uh, they have these blue lights or something like that. I forget what they're called right now. Uh, but you, you're getting, you're waking up and you're getting the energy uh, that you need. Uh, it's important that we start our day off right. And if we miss where we're heading, the saints of God, it's going to be hard to be done. But if you don't start right, if you're heading for the sun and you need the moon, it can, you can do it, but it's going to cost, cost you a lot. You think of that rocket that's headed to the sun instead of the moon, it's going, it can make it, but it's going to cost a lot more fuel, it's going to take a lot more time uh, to get that course correction. Uh, later on in the flight than if we would have just started aimed at the right place. Now you can finish your day off right if you start wrong, but believe me it's going to take a lot more energy, it's going to take a lot more focus, and it's going to take a lot more time than if we would have just started our day off uh, the way God had intended. Uh, remember Job said the morning stars ascended together. There was something about the morning that God wanted to start it off right. Beautiful and pleasant. Saints, take some time every morning. Don't just rush out of bed and right into your work clothes and then out the door grabbing a banana on the way out. Um, you know, start taking some time. Aim. Where am I going today? What do I want today? What do I want to feel by the time I lay my head in the bed tonight? How do I want to feel? What do I want? out of this day. And start aiming that way. Uh, as soon as you're waking up, I want to feel blessed today. I want to have had an experience today with you, Lord. It could be a, a big one, it could be a small one, I don't care. I just want an experience with you. But if we're not aimed that way, we're not going that way. Right? So, it's again, it's about personal discipline. And we're to be a, a, a disciple one. And then, we can go out and teach others uh, how to become a disciple of Jesus Christ as well. Christ was a very disciplined individual. Uh, he could go 40 days without eating. Some of us can go an hour without eating. And um, he said, I came not to do my own will, not the will of him to send me. That's a very disciplined individual. Not to do my will. What was the will of Christ? You know, did he have something he wanted to do, but for three, 33 and a half years, he did only those things which his father had asked him to do. He says, I only do that which my father has asked him to do. It was a very disciplined individual. And if we want anything from God, uh, we're going to have to become disciplined, but we're also going to have to aim for it. You want to be experienced with God? Aim for it. Yes. You know? You want God to touch your heart? Aim that way. Yes. You can't run away from Him and expect Him to touch you. No. You know? If I want to hug from my sons, I have to kind of go their direction. You know? If they're standing over there and I want to hug, I can't go that way and expect to get what I want. And, and if God is this way, you're not going to get to Him going the other way. Right. But as soon as you wake up in the uh, your day will go a lot better. I'm not saying you won't have problems. Uh, you will have problems. But if you head your yeah. head towards what you want, the chances are you're going to get there. If you head the other direction, more than likely you're not. And God is so merciful. He does. Sometimes we're going the wrong way, and He comes and, and finds us, uh, just like He did with Adam and Eve. And, and we appreciate that. We love that about God. But now that he has caught us, now that he has found us, let's stop running the wrong direction. By love, because he first loved.
loved us, let us now respond in love and run after him. Let us chase him. You know, as soon as I knew my wife liked me, it was like full war on, you know, that, that as soon as I knew, it was, you know, it was okay to, to like her back type thing. Then, you know, here I go chasing after her, right? And, and that's the same way with God is when I know that he loves me, then there's a responding in love, just a full-on chasing after him, uh, like all, all that I've been doing. So I stood up really to say is, let's start our morning right. Yes, amen.